Hello guys. Right. After this, some of you are most probably going to hate my videos and never want to watch them again or discredit everything I've said. But before you do that, give me a second. Hear me out. Right. We're, we're, we've entered a new age, or I believe we've entered in, into a new age. You know, we've brought our sovereignty back. Okay, we've got a few loose ends to tie up. And yes, we've got people not so happy with the decision, but we knew this was going to happen. You know, the other side, the ones that are complaining, um, as val valid as your, you know, your, your problems are, in a, in a democratic society, we vote, we voted, that's what happened. I'm sorry. You know, that that's my deepest condolences. For that but i think as we've entered into this new age this new dawn that we, we should go about new things in my previous video i said about updating the flag because in my opinion there seems to be a hell of a lot of blood on that thing and i can understand how you're attached to it so obviously that's why i gave you the choice in my last video to obviously voice your opinion on that matter but for anyone out there that's ever watched Star Wars, you know, and I don't just mean the first three films or seven films or, or whatever. They, it's a complex base system, but it works. You know, I'm a bit of a Star Wars geek, so this is going to sound crazy, and this is most probably where most of you have clicked off. But if you're still here, listen, it, it will make sense. They have a republic. You know, that, that doesn't just mean that there's one governing body. There are, you know, all your voices are heard. So, yes, it sounds a little bit by democracy, but instead of how we have it, where we have it, where we have this one person or this one person in charge and then these other people that are employed by this one person, yeah, we should do it differently this time because we have the opportunity to do it different. So, as we have, I'm going to put it out there. You know, no one else has put another idea so far that I've seen... You know, and maybe this will encourage you to do the same. We should do something similar. Very, very similar. But have the kind of structure that we have now. But we put them there. You know, like we are their bosses. They are being interviewed for their job. If they want to be the Home Secretary for this or the Health Secretary or this, that and the other. You have to apply for it. You know, your applicant will be put you, you know, your thing will be put your cv will be put in front of the people and the best person out of all them people and yes before you people say well what the fuck do you know or anyone else know about how to run that job haven't got the fucking clue but we have an opportunity to make uh, things how we want it not how they've told us you know this this delusion of democracy where we employ these people and all these millions of voices channel that up to that one person they don't give a fine fuck we did that experiment it did not work let's try a different one let's actually use the power of our votes to things that are important not the delusion that they choose we get to vote. You know, because at the end of the day, they make decisions and laws and everything else that go on against us without fucking telling us until it's done. You know, let's change that. Let's break the mould. We have the chance to do so, so let's do something. Have V for Vendetta. There's, like, big D TV screens and then the, the, the Emperor, Palpatine, as I'm going with the Star Wars film, uh, theme, comes on the television and goes, right, these are the problems that we have. And because we have voted out, we have got a few loose ends and a few problems that we didn't have when we were in the European Union. It gives us the prime opportunity to solve it. The people, not just me, you, or, you know, the butcher and the farmer and everyone else. Everybody has the same power of their vote for everything. And I understand that the people that lost or feel deflated by the fact that we're we're not in the European Union anymore and that's what you wanted. I know you're going to say that you know because of that you've had a bad experience with the vote, uh, you know, the voting system blah blah blah. We have the opportunity to change that as well. We have the opportunity to do brilliant things. But we have to use them. We have to voice our opinion. There is no point having the ne David Cameron step down, have the elite take an absolute blow if we the people can't form our own kind of way of how we want to do this. How we want our country to be portrayed. You want to make Britain great again? 
start listening to the people. And I don't mean give them a piece of paper when you feel like it, so we tick it and then you we all feel powerful and we do all this fucking arguing between ourselves. It's pointless. It really is pointless. You know, it doesn't get anything done. It's pre productive or the opposite for productive you know we need to do something we have the chance to do it so let's do it you know pass down things laws and that for moral reasons not for stupid reasons for you know and, and don't get me wrong you're also always going to say you know what the fuck do i know and if i don't know anything but i see the world how the world is and how the world could be as all the rest of you most probably do but you have to voice your opinion, and the opportunity has come now, so let's do it. You know, my opinions are weird and wacky, but I'm de- the problem is is that I think their ideas are weird and wacky. Having, you know, David Cameron in charge, or, you know, Sturgeon in charge, it, it's stupid the way I see it. But you don't. And because you don't, we can have a conversation on how to build a better society communication is key with this you know it's never going to work we can't allow ourselves to break free from the european union and then just walk back into the next slaughterhouse we need to change the direction of our country if we want it great again we have to make it great we have to put the work in we have to do the effort you know, because it, we we can't just sit on the back bench anymore like we have done with the European Union. We have to stand up. We have to make sure the rest of the European Union see us for what we see ourselves as. Not the way it has been before. Not as the slaves underneath the industrial complex's foot. You know, it's not the way it needs to be. We can live free. We can be happy. We can achieve it. The other con- There are other countries around the world that have done it. We can go down that path or we can form our own path. You know, pioneers, you know, explorers into an unknown world. Or we could just slam back into what we're used to and what is easy. The decision is up to you guys. I've given you my idea. Let me know what you think.